Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to an article. Sort of, George Takei posted this on his Facebook and somebody tagged my public Facebook page. And if you don't follow me on Facebook and you have one, you should follow it. I'll have a link down below. And I saw it and I thought, well, why not react to it? <laughs> because content. If you would like to see more reactionary content, do subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos like this. If you would like, consider pledging on Patreon or join the channel as a channel member. Both support me with my content, but both had different perks. So whatever system you like, is your choosing. Links will be down below and also the button for joining the channel is down below. So let's get started, shall we? The headline says, Guy Furious after his roommate takes advantage of his hearing loss and makes him the butt of a cruel joke. Honestly, if you really had the audacity to be such a jerk to deaf people and you want to make them feel bad for it, anything like that, shame on your mother and shame on your daughter and your cow or... What do people say? What's that phrase? This is originally a post from Reddit. It's from the Am I the Asshole? Subreddit. Today's story is told by Am I the Asshole Can't Hear a which was shortened to ACHS, about an ongoing prank his roommate played on him. As he explains, he suffered hearing loss in his right ear and now tries to adjust to make sure he can hear and understand people. However, not everyone is so accommodating. So I have this roommate we will call F. F is an okay guy for the most part, but F likes to f with me on occasion. Normally, the jokes are alluding to I'm dead. That damn autocorrect. Are we dead or are we deaf? We will never know. Thanks, Apple. Because I'm an old man and I joke back with him about it. Really? Now you're gonna be mean to a grandpa? You're gonna be mean to a grandpa about this. Then again, his roommate's probably the same age or around the same age, so. But still. Sure, sounds like fun if a little macabre. Is that how you say it? I've never heard that word before. <laughs> I've never even seen that word before. But things get a lot worse. But lately, I've been worried my hearing was getting worse because F always speaks on my good side, but I'm catching maybe every couple words and nothing else. This is not the point, but yeah, your hearing is probably getting worse, so if you want to go check that out, I probably would. I'll be in the middle of doing something and F will say, aren't you going to go do this as I asked you to? And I'll be legitimately confused because I don't recall agreeing, but say, okay, sure. I do legitimately have memory loss issues combined with my hearing problem, it was entirely possible I had said yes. Considering the setup here, I'm sure you can see where this is going. Oh yeah, unfortunately. ACHS's girlfriend has been sheltering in place with the roommates during the current pandemic. Because of this, she is around when F is talking to our hero. And it was discovered F was pretending to speak when ACHS was having what he thought were hearing problems. That's not nice. My GF has been sheltering in place with us and last night F came in to ask me a question. Again, I was only catching every couple of words when my GF stopped him saying, knock it off F, that's f***ed up. I asked what was f***ed up and she tells me F is just moving his lips and not saying anything except those couple of words I am catching. Okay, so maybe your hearing isn't getting worse. So I guess you can disregard what I said earlier. F laughed about it and said he was pissed my GF ruined his joke because to top it off, he admitted that he has been evidently using my hearing loss and telling me I agreed to sh during conversations that never took place. Obviously, ACHS was upset at this. And obviously, rightfully so, because you're taking advantage of somebody's deafness. To have to deal with somebody who does this, it doesn't make people feel good. He shoot out his roommate who tried to claim it wasn't a big deal, but it is. But of course, the hearing person wouldn't really think it's a big deal because they don't have to worry about that stuff. ACHS also wondered if he was wrong for getting so mad when he probably would have done those things for his roommate anyway. Examples, he's gotten me to buy all the groceries and not contributed, saying I agree to it when I never did. If he had just asked me in reality, I would have most likely said yes depending on the actual circumstances. He's gotten me to fix his car for free. Again, I probably would have done if he had asked. It 
doesn't matter if you probably would have done those things anyway. It's, you're being taken advantage of. I've had times when I bluffed and it's come back to bite me in the ass because I would agree to something or I'd say, yes, I understand what you're saying. And then when it comes to me actually having to do the thing or if I never agreed to something, but I thought it was something different, things get a little bit messy. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's great. It's very kind of you that you would agree to do these things. And I wouldn't be knocking you, or I'm not knocking you if you had agreed to it in the first place. But just because you have no idea what's going on, it's not good. He's taking advantage of you. It's as simple as that. F thinks ACHS is overreacting, and their third roommate wants ACHS to apologize to keep the peace. <sighs> of course you do, because the disabled people, the deaf people, should always be kinder <laughs> to people. Always. We're, we're not allowed to get angry at anything, apparently, right? Like, ACHS's girlfriend understandably wants to hurt F and is on ACHS's side. I mean, you don't necessarily have to hurt the guy, but, you know, don't let him think that it's okay to do that. So is ACHS a jerk in this situation? Redditors didn't think so. Sometimes Redditors rub me the wrong way, and sometimes I like you, like right now, heck yeah. Not the asshole. He took advantage of you because of your disability. He's the asshole. Not the asshole. Uh, no, doing it once as a joke isn't funny to begin with, but then doing it as an ongoing joke, but taking advantage of the fact that you have memory issues and making you pay or do stuff you never agree to do is wrong. Exactly. It's one thing if this has happened once. It's not okay. It's still wrong to do that, but you do not want you to get over it fine, okay? If you apologize also, that's, you know, just a positive added on top of it. But if you're doing it multiple times, also taking advantage of somebody's memory problems, it's, it's a double whammy and it's just not okay to do that because who knows what else you could be taking advantage of you could be saying something like hey I got a family member who is sick and if you, if you could like help me with gas to go do that or whatever you know go see them and then he says okay quote quote unquote you know you lie like you're lying you never actually said that but then you come back later and say that you said that am I making sense it's it's wrong you don't do that to people like one, you're taking money from this guy, you're taking more money and labor because he's fixing your car and things like that. It's not, ugh. Not the asshole. He sounds manipulative and abusive. There was nothing funny about his ongoing joke. He is not your friend. Be well. OP, this is called gaslighting. It's actually a form of abuse and you are very correct in getting upset and you are not the asshole at all for this. Everything F did was messed up. He took advantage of someone's disability to benefit himself. Redditors thought there was no situation where that was justified. On top of that, his joke was seen as bullying. If your friend isn't in on what's going on, the joke mocks an aspect of themselves they can't control and is at their expense. That's bullying. How did F think this could be justified? This is a form of gaslighting that, if not shut down, will lead to worse gaslighting methods in the future. Not the asshole, and you need to point out how f***ed up this is, regardless of how impolite you need to phrase it to get it through his head. Not the asshole. A joke is supposed to be funny for all parties. What he did was cruel, and I doubt anyone but him finds it funny. He is definitely the asshole. He's been taking advantage of you and causing you distress for his amusement. He sounds like a sociopath. Not the asshole, and do not apologize to keep the peace. That will just let Joe know that you're fine with it. After all, you apologize, right? Jokes are funny. Exploiting a disability to take advantage of someone is not funny. Exactly. If you apologize, then they're gonna think it's okay and they'll probably do it again later. Not the asshole. I would be furious too. It's a shame your roommates are siding with him. From now, I'd make him write everything down. Redditors also found it disturbing how the other roommate isn't on ACHS's side. People can understand the want for peace while we're all stuck inside, but a calling for F to apologize and stop being a jerk is another possible solution here. Why does ACHS have to apologize for calling him out? I do understand that side when everybody's stuck in quarantine or isolation. It, it, it's gonna get a little bit awkward because you're all stuck together. You can't leave anywhere, so. <laughs> it's not the fault of ACHS. He didn't do anything wrong. Not the asshole. I would also move towards cutting this person out of life eventually as I don't foresee any need motivation to change as this behavior is serving him well. Yeah, if he doesn't understand why it's wrong and change that behavior, like... Can you kick him out? Can you sue him? Because I think you have just cause. The consensus with the popular solution is for F to apologize and learn why he's wrong. Yeah, so I'm agreeing with everybody on Reddit here, at least 
all the Redditors that are on that article. Uh, now, there have been times when a hearing friend will make jokes about my deafness, and it's fine. You know, James Rath and I, we joke about each other's disabilities all the time. He jokes about my deafness and I joke about his blindness like when he's like, but you can't hear that. And I'll be like, well, you couldn't see that. You know, like it's whatever. Like we pick on each other all the time. So as long as those boundaries are set ahead of time, it's fine. But this is just, it's not that. Also, this is taking advantage of something, right? Like this is straight up taking advantage of something. It's not just poking fun at somebody just to whatever. Like right now, the things that F said that ACHS was agreeing to, getting someone to pay for your groceries and also fix your car for free, that is serious in my opinion. No, that's money that you did not earn. It's money that ACHS earned. It's his money and also his labor, his time when he could have been doing something else. Like those are serious things already, but I can only imagine what if like later on down the road, if he was going to like do something more serious. Like, like remember going back to what I said before, like if, if F was pretending that somebody was sick, right? With cancer or the coronavirus, or things like that, and then being like, hey, I need gas money to go help out, whatever, you know, go visit them, things like that. You never know if there's a possibility that the guy is gonna eventually escalate and do a little bit of testing on ACHS and think, how far can I take this before he notices? Like, how much can I get out of this man, right? And that's, that's the problem. So, I don't know if there's any updates to that situation. I hope that F apologized eventually or apologizes eventually. They can work out whatever it is and I do hope that he gets F out of his life because unless F is not going to do it anymore, like, I just don't see that becoming a good relationship in any capacity. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I appreciate you getting this far into the video. Share this video if you would like. All kinds of engagement, comments, likes, sharing really help out the channel growth and video growth. If you would like to translate this video, I have a translation link down below in the description box also as well as a link to the original article. So be sure to check that out. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I will see you later.